Hi friends, it's Nancy and it is Sunday, so it's self-care Sunday. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I want to extend an, an extra special welcome to Kiki Christie, who is a recent subscriber to my channel. Um, if you're a recent subscriber and I haven't given you a special welcome, then I, uh, it's probably because your settings um, show your subscriptions private so that I don't know that you've joined my, my channel. Um, so on Self Care Sunday, I will, in this, um, in this series where I think we're on, uh, Sunday number six. So I'm going to issue three prompts, um, requiring a different, different levels of, um, commitment and depth. So the first one is just a five minute exercise, um, to do a little bit of mindfulness. The second level is a little more, um, time, uh, I shouldn't say it that way. A little more commitment required because um, it might take an, an hour or two or it might take a couple of short bursts of activity to complete the task. And the third is um, more intensive. Um, we are in the midst of a full life audit, looking at what's working, what's not working, journaling about it, committing to some change maybe, or... Um, learning that, you know, things aren't perfect and I'm okay with that. So I will issue those challenges throughout the, um, the video today. So, uh, I did post a flip through earlier today of, uh, my French blue tall and skinny journal. I am going to be starting a new journal and this is and it's going to be a series that will play during my vacation, which starts the 22nd of February. So it's going to be full from book to journal in a Nancy style. Um, I shouldn't, you know, claim ownership because for sure other people make journals the same way I do. Um, but uh, I did get a, a, a comment recently and I'm so sorry, I can't remember who asked. Um, they wanted to know more about making journals that weren't, you know, giant gator mouths, um, looked more like a genuine book. So I have just now picked out three books. One is uh, a big guy, this is Bird Life. I got this on. I want to say Facebook Marketplace. This is 1900. Um, so this, this, I mean, I'm going to clearly let me look at that image there. I'm clearly going to do a book, a bird theme. I have this book, Games of the Playground. I got this at a thrift store. 1918. And this one is, uh, this was given to me by my crafty crush, Catherine, The Secrets of Divine. It was a, a 1918 title as well. Um, yeah. So, let's, let's decide together which one you would like to see start to finish. Um, I'm equally happy to do any of these three for the purposes of the, the tutorial, um, the tutorial series. I think it'll probably be seven, seven 30 minute videos. So let me know b b below, the purple one, the red one, or the green one. Now, today, what I wanna do um, is clean up my mess from finishing the blue journal. 
So I have some scraps of paper. I thought, oops, thought maybe I would make some clusters, something mindless. I got some paper here. Um, I've also got some lace and cutoffs from the different uh, bits of ephemera that I made. So, let's get started here. Um, these are pretty. I'm not a big fan of the typewriter. I'm going to cut this down and make it into a journaling card, maybe? So a lot of stuff going on this week. Super Bowl Sunday and um, Lunar New Year uh, and Valentine's Day. I got um, into the nail salon yesterday. They squeezed me in <clears throat> so I get some fresh nails this week and uh, I said to the manicurist that did my service, I thanked her very kindly for squeezing me in. Um, usually I would try to get in after work during the week, but it's been smoking busy and I've been trying to get some sort of a system in place um, for who who's going to handle my files while I'm on vacation. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab some book page. I should have something handy to cover the back. Well, that's one. This is this is some um, coffee dyed paper, uh, an envelope that was coffee dyed. It's not showing up great on the video, but you just have to trust me on that. lot of little bits of things here. Even got embroidery floss. All this stuff needs to go and get put away because it's cramping my style. What's this word say? What's this friend? I even had these two little cameos out and I didn't use them. Maybe we'll use them this time. Oh, there's a little bug in there. What kind of a little bug are you? Where'd you go, little bug? That's what you get for working in the basement. And then this is all... and papers and things and so this this uh, these are pictures of lace cuffs oh 
I never did get my tool. Got, got distracted by stuff. Mm. Uh, these come with uh, my scrapbook uh, scrapbook.com orders I think they're funny I gotta put them up on my little note board there yeah I'm starting to make my list for my holidays, what I need to get, what I need to pack, what I need to consider. I want to get my oil changed before we leave. Um, maybe I'll get Doug to do that on Friday. He has Fridays off and I'm I don't. <laughs> oh. Where's my fancy trimmer? to use it now that I have it. The day this uh, trimmer came in the mail, there was a video by uh, Tracy Fox and she was saying she didn't like hers. I haven't really had a lot of chance to use it, so I don't know if I dislike it or not. sink first and then I want to add a little bit of paint. Um, I was going to tell you a story. We had, uh, we had our granddaughter one evening this week. I was hoping she would, we could keep her overnight, but she just would not settle. So I took her home <laughs> at about 9.30. She slept for like 20 minutes and then popped up like, you know. Jack in the box. And, uh, and I thought, nope. No, I gotta work. I can't do this. So I took her home. But she is so funny. Oh my gosh. So I picked her up after work um, and I had dinner going and it was about 15 minutes until dinner was gonna be ready. Okay, paint.
so I, uh, I keep cookies in one of the drawers in the kitchen. And she, of course, knows where the cookies are. So it's about five minutes till dinner was going to be ready. Ten minutes, maybe. And uh, she went out in the kitchen and grabbed a box of cookies. And she had her arms totally wrapped around her chest holding <laughs> these cookies. And she walks out and she says, Oh, thank you. <laughs> and Doug says, you can't say no to that. <laughs> and I agreed, no, I, I, that's fine, darling. You can have, you can have all the cookies you want. So she's uh, become very um, polite recently. So thank you and sorry. Well, she is Canadian. Uh, that's what we say. Um, I'm just going to kind of apply some paint with my finger So I put her in the high chair and, and she ate her dinner. That A girl loves food. Uh, she's clearly, clearly my granddaughter. Um, okay, I'm happy with that. But, you know, she's not quite two yet. So, of course, there's a blast radius. So after dinner, I put her down on the floor and moved her high chair so I could clean up the, the mess underneath and she comes she comes over and she's watching me on my hands and knees <laughs> she, oh I'm sorry <laughs> she she has become a master manipulator <laughs> So I called and when I was bringing her home so they knew to look for me and her daddy came out to get her out of the car and he opens the car door I'm sorry, I'm sorry <laughs> and he says she's so so Canadian <laughs> so they are in the midst of packing and getting ready to move back to New Brunswick. They are actually leaving the same day we are. It's not going to be easy for this. For this Nana. But it is what it is. Um, They'd like us to come out this summer to visit, but I think I think I will wait till October. Okay. So I'm just gonna let that dry a bit. Move some stuff. I made a mess. Probably best if I move, 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 move them. start with the first prompt from the little book of mindfulness. I had page 24 and 25. 
the standing starfish. Um, so I think I have to describe mountain pose first. This pose gives you a feeling of being centered with energy and confidence radiating from the navel region and spine into your arms and fingertips. It strengthens the legs, back, shoulders, and arms. So it starts with standing in mountain pose. And let me tell you what that is, mountain pose. This simple yoga pose may help you to be strong like a mountain. Feeling connected to the earth lets your body and mind exist in the here and now. It also strengthens legs and improves posture. As an alternative, imagine a mountain and feel as strong and still as it does. So you stand with your feet about hip, hip width apart, with arms by your sides, palms facing in, gently touching the thighs. Take a few breaths to become aware of your breathing. When exhaling, contract the pelvic floor muscles and lift them up until you feel a squeeze at the base of your buttocks. A physical sensation as if your sitting bones are coming closer. Your sitting bones. <laughs> this, <laughs> I have great sitting bones. They're very developed. <laughs> This action supports the spine from below. Continue to breathe evenly. With the next exhalation, draw the entire abdominals to the spine and at the same time, lengthen your spine upwards. Stand tall with the spine straight and the head lifted. Breathe deeply and widely into the lungs, creating a sense of space in the entire chest area with each in-breath. With the exhalation, Roll the shoulders up, back, and down, releasing any tension in the upper back. With each in-breath, feel the uplifting in the entire spine, and with each out-breath, as you gently draw the navel to your spine, feel the support you are giving your lower back. Okay. Stand in mountain pose. Step your feet apart with a toe-heel movement until they are about 50 centimeters apart and parallel. So 50 centimeters is about 18 inches. Uh, contract the pelvic floor in and up and lengthen the spine upwards. Breathe and hold until you feel stable. Inhaling, lift your arms to a T-shape, palms facing down to the floor. Keep lengthening your spine upwards out of your pelvis and squeezing the sitting bones together to pull the tailbone down. Relax the shoulders as you extend your arms and fingertips to the side. Hold for three to five breaths. So that's the standing starfish. I think we could all do with some work on our shoulders and upper backs and sitting bones. <laughs> Now, something else I have. I haven't got all my lights on yet. Hang on while I turn on my lights. Hopefully that's a little brighter. It feels dark down here. Um, okay. So I have a bunch of little and long strips. I'm going to cut this one down. These were some cut apart tags that were part of that French blue collection. side of the tag. Oh. 
the lights went out. Problem with my lights um, that I use, they are USB um, powered, so I have to plug them into my laptop, and sometimes if I just move the wrong way, it will knock the plugs out of... <clears throat> I say what I was going to do with these? Um, <laughs> probably not, knowing me. So my intentions here is to make some collages, uh, sort of the Cory Daman style, where she takes uh, long, thin pieces and just organizes them together. And then puts a um, like a focal point on top. Kind of like that image. Let's save that image. That might be just the focal point we need. I do have some other tags too. This is just torn off book page from some tags that I made. That's a tag. going to use these. These were the paper cutoffs. I don't think I'm going to feel bad about that. is um, the branding tab, the, you know, the half inch piece at the top. There's a couple more tags. This is embossed paper. Yeah, see, these were parts of tags. Because I used the other side for, um, for making stuff. I, uh, I used the 
this was like the cover of um, the paper pack. So, it, you know, it's just sort of shows little bits and pieces. And I put it through an embossing folder. It says vintage buttons. Uh, I don't like it. So I'll cut those up. Yeah, I used um, the front, the French blue and just put it through my embossing folder. That's embossed. That's a pretty piece. There's some more long ones. These are cute. Maybe I'll save these little things to make um, something. Little, little clustery kind of thing. And these save those to make something. Okay, let's get to s assembling this. So this says magazine on it. Um, this stuff. Look, it has a little um, fingerprint there from when somebody was painting the, the fashion plates. Might have to do some stitches on these too, you know. Tear this off. Okay, I'll sew that one. Forgot I was going to chop these up. I'm just going to cut out this little tag here. Just making it a little narrower. It wasn't quite as quite as fat as a tag. So even something like that I might do. We'll put that over here for a, um, a focal point.
bed. Okay. I'm just cutting away the embossed parts. Well, maybe I'll keep that. All right, let's talk about level B. So as I mentioned before, B takes a little more time, a little more time commitment, I mean. Um, so to this uh, challenge for this week in the self-care Sunday level up your self-care challenge is to um, get your digital life under control. So maybe you're concerned about how much time you spend on social media, for example. So I want to let you know that there's lots of apps available um, that can help you to track and, and um, encourage you to, you know, put your phone down. We're getting as bad as kids, aren't we? Um, this one I'm going to keep too. So I will list some of those things below. Okay. This is something in French, art poétique. You can see this was very, very old. Crappy book page. Um, or maybe you are you get inundated by email from all kinds of spam. So maybe you want to spend some time um, unsubscribing to some mailing lists. through your spam and, and undelete your, or delete yourself from all of the places that you keep getting email from. We need a little bit of pink there. Gosh, that's pretty. Something that is pink. Or um, you're concerned about security, so maybe you need to um, update your um, what's the word for it? Oh no! <laughs> Again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, 
wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, the thing that stops bad stuff from happening to your computer, whatever that's called. Maybe you need to update some passwords. Um, one tip for um, for passwords is to use um, a, a phrase instead of words and numbers kind of thing. So um, I worked with a student whose password, of course we have to, we have to change our passwords every three months at the office um, for security purposes, and she would use uh, a goal, so things that she wanted to do that year, like um, run a half marathon, or, uh, you know, those youngsters, they've They've got the energy for that kind of thing. I like this little piece here. That makes it much harder for people to hack in because they're not going to necessarily guess, you know, what your password could be if it's based on a, a line from a book or, or, or a favorite poem or a goal like my student used. Um, wouldn't hurt my feelings if I had... something else here. There's a little white sliver here. So, get on top of your digital life. Maybe you keep getting notices of, you know, people that you maybe had followed on Facebook once upon a time, or, yeah, that's wrong. tired of them or they've gone loco and they're posting about things that you don't want to read about or you completely disagree with their <laughs> their viewpoint and you don't want to hate them. <laughs> this has happened to me, can you tell? Um, not necessarily my family members, but other family members that uh, we don't, we just don't agree on things. We have to bring Opinions and life views. Nope. 
This one's not the way I would like it, but we might come back to it. says Les Mo Parisiennes, Peterson's Magazine, December A little crooked. <clears throat> That's all right. I'll cut that off and then trim this a bit. Gonna look at the other side first. Oh. I'm gonna make this look like a little tag. No, I think I liked it the other way. Okay, um, so sea level. This is where we're going to take a deep dive and think about physical health and mental health. What's going well? Um, what are you enjoying about your um, strategies to maintain health? What would you like to learn more about? Um, if you need to recommit to a plan... of some kind. Maybe a 
exercise plan or a diet. You're overthinking it, girl. Um, perhaps the, the treatment for a certain condition isn't working anymore for you. Do you need to make some appointments to get your um, teeth cleaned? Do you want to make some time to see your pharmacist to go over your medications? That's something you should be doing regularly, at least annually, I would think, that if you're taking more than one medication, um, take the time to discuss it with your pharmacist and make sure everything is working together and you're not actually doing yourself more good damage than good. Um, fingers aren't working. That's pretty, I like that. Oh, I hear Doug. Up and about. Oot and a boot. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll go with this one. Why not? So I am going to pause for a moment, do a little bit of sewing, come back and finish up some of this stuff. All right, here we are back. So what I did, 
I changed my mind about doing um, a focus, a focal point on my little clusters here. I splashed some white and paint, white and gold paint. So you can see some of that through here. And then on top, I did a little uh, stencil um, with texture paste. And the little journal cards, I just layered on some um, scraps of book page. Oh, this was a little bit of that envelope. And again, some gold paint and white paint and then a little bit of texture paste. Um, for sure, these can be further embellished, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with how they turned out in general. Um, but I can see adding, um, you know, a little image or some words, a little photo on top, maybe. So, yeah. Um, just check my notes here, make sure I talked about everything. Uh, I don't think I gave you an update on the 12-week year, so I am in week 11 now. Just about, just about finished those first 12 weeks. I have accomplished the 12-pound loss. Actually, I'm at 12.8 12 pounds. <laughs> I am feeling better physically. I'm sleeping better. My mood is better. My stress is reduced. So all in all, that's been good. Um, financial goal number one was um, accomplished back at the uh, Christmas time, I guess. Um, financial goal number two is wobbling a bit, um, but I'm on track and I still have two weeks to go or pretty close to two weeks. Um, so I feel like those, those things are the easiest for me to measure. <laughs> Um, but I'm pretty impressed with my uh, success overall, so I will um, be starting another 12-week year when I come home from vacation. Um, I'm also going to put some links below regarding the 100-day uh, project. Um, I was absolutely stunned to find out some people have never heard of the 100-day project. So I will put some links below and um, yeah. So that is today. I hope you are having a terrific Sunday, that you're looking after your own self-care, and maybe you got some time to craft along. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.